Hi, this video is a demo of IV Swinger 2. IV Swinger 2 is the second generation of IV Swinger, which is an IV curve tracer that I designed. Um, this is much smaller and simpler than the original, and it costs only about $35 to build, where the original one cost about $330. Um, it uses capacitors for the load, and it connects to a Mac or a Windows laptop, so you can see the results in real time. There are also several other advantages, which I'll show later in the video. So these two binding posts here, I now have uh, the um, cables connected that have the MC4 connectors that will connect to the PV module. On this side over here is a USB connection. This is just a Arduino microcontroller board, which are all over the place these days. And those are the only connections to the box. Okay, now we have the laptop and the IV Swinger 2 in the shaded area underneath the panel. And the first thing I'm going to do is start the application on the laptop. So that's come up and you'll notice this button is black and it says not connected there. Disconnect the USB. And you'll see that it says connected for brief, briefly and then changes to red, same swing. We connect the PV cables now. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that button. And we get an IV curve. We've got a little bit of shade going on here, so <laughs> that's why it looks the way it does. And hit enter and do as many as you want. Now I'm going to shade it a little more. See that it changes. And then show this feature, which is you can add the power curve to the plot, turn that off, and then last but not least there's this loop mode, and so I select that, it basically starts it taking one curve per second, I'll shade it a lot more there, you can see it change, changing, 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 and then you hit that and that stops it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do for the outdoor part of this presentation and I'll show you more on the application. Okay, here we've got the application open again. Um, we are actually no longer even connected to the actual IV Swinger device because all we're gonna be using it for now is looking at the results that we recorded earlier. So to do that, we'll click on this results wizard button here. And that opens up this dialog up here. And in this pane here, we'll see lists of dates. So these are groups of runs and you can expand them and it will list all of the runs within that date. Now the dates are all listed with the newest one at the top and the oldest one at the bottom and within each date the times are also the newest at the top and the oldest at the bottom. Let me come down here and just click on this one and now you can see we see the IV curve for that run appear over here in the main window. Up here we have the short circuit current point. This is actually an extrapolated point. The first measured point is here. Down here, this is the open circuit voltage point. That is a measured point. And then the maximum power point here, and that's the point where the product of the voltage times the current is the highest over the whole curve. So the other thing to point out here is in addition to just clicking on one of these runs like that, you can also use the arrow keys to just scroll up or scroll down the list, and almost create kind of an animation by doing that. So we'll select this one again. Um, one thing you can do is there's this button view PDF here. Click on that. And that's gonna open the viewer um, that you would normally use on your computer for viewing PDFs. So I'm using a Mac right now. And so this is the preview application on a Windows machine. It would be Acrobat Reader. And from here, you can do any of the things that you could do normally from that application, such as print um, or <clears throat> save it under a different name, duplicate, any of the normal things you can do. So I'm gonna close that now. And the next thing I'll show you how to do is, suppose you want to copy 
results to USB so that somebody else can look at them or you can look at them on a different computer. So we'll still have this one selected and I'll click on this copy button and it brings up a dialog. Again, this is gonna be slightly different on Windows, um, but I'm gonna scroll down here and select USB. See that is selected up here. And I'll click on choose and then it went ahead and copied that. You may wanna do those copy all of the runs for the whole day. In that case, you can just collapse that and select the whole group. And I'll do that, copy. And we're still selecting the correct USB. I'll say choose. Now it actually is gonna come up with this warning because we already copied that single one before, but it's just asking if you wanna overwrite everything that has already been copied there. So I'll say yes. Now it copied all 15 of those. So now the flip side of that is, suppose you have the USB drive and you plug it into a computer and you're running this application, how do you actually look at those? So the trick there is you click on this path name at the top up here, and then you can select USB. Actually you have to select the folder and say choose. And now you see what's on that USB. I can go in here and look at all the runs on that USB. It happens to be I'm on the same computer that I copied them from, but this would work even if it was a different computer. So that's all I'm going to show you in this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do things like combine multiple runs on a single graph and several other things.